Hi, drawing class, and uh, welcome to your second assignment for this week. Um, in this assignment, you're going to be using your skills in uh, value and using shading, which you just practiced in your exercises. So this week, what I want you to do is to continue the trend of drawing from life. I've been seeing a variety of um, decisions that you guys have been making in regards to the subjects you're choosing. Uh, for each of these assignments as we've been doing our stippling and cross-hatching. Again, we're going to be uh, choosing something that is drawing from life, not a photograph. Um, I'm going to encourage some of you guys that are a little bit more advanced, try something transparent. Let's see if you can do something that's see-through, and then you can shade all the things that you're seeing through, like a glass, for instance, or a light bulb. Um, if you're not to that point, you can choose something that is opaque and not transparent, that's up to you, but I really want you all to strive to find something that has fairly intense highlights and shadows so there's a wide range of value in your lights and darks and middle grays. Again, we're not smudging here. You guys are trying to achieve all these values with the weight of your hand. Now, in this assignment, I want you guys to make one drawing based on something from life that's going to challenge you and that's going to demonstrate your ability to shade with a full range of value, okay? Um, I look forward to seeing these. Uh, please be using all of your pencils, your 2H, your 2B, and your ebony pencil. If you don't have all of those, you can still do this assignment, and you can still make it look three-dimensional. But we're going for the illusion of realism, so it's going to take some layering and some time. Choose your subject wisely, and please take minimum an hour on this drawing. Some of you guys have been putting much more time into that and it's definitely reflecting in your grades, okay? Um, but I would say a bare minimum for those that are trying to get these done too quickly, all right? Um, we will have a third assignment this week, which will be strictly computer-based. You're gonna be showing me that you understand how to grid an assignment because we are going to do some stuff that is not from life next week. Um, so please check out the additional content in your assignment number three. Again, there's three assignments this week and uh, get that done as well. So happy drawing, guys, and good luck with your shading.